Here they come. 1876, Eric Patrick and Ken Capro, drivers here. And, uh, man, how you doing? Where's Capro? And these guys, are everybody's like, you know, he's on the wrong side. Yeah. Yeah, it was definitely a, a, a tough race. I would say the most technical styles that we've ever seen, for sure. So. Will you guys just get out of the car and do like a Chinese fire drill or something? Yep, we just swap duties uh, halfway through, so... I was like, wait a minute. I, got, I had a few little right-hand drives, so I was confused for a second when I saw you over there. <laughs> so talk about your adventure, because it sounds like it was a rough one. Yeah, definitely. We had a had an issue off the start, which put us down three hours. So that, uh, that definitely played a, a part in our day. So we just had to try to make a solid run after that. And, and hopefully uh, we'll get the championship. That was kind of our goal after that because we were in the back and we had to deal with a few uh, log jams and being stuck behind people, telling some people out. I mean, the goal was just to finish at this point. Yeah, just to finish after that. So, uh, yeah. We lost the battle, but we won the war. We got the championship, though. So. And that's the thing, you know, a lot of times you got to know where you're sitting and it's like, all right, at what point are you going to go, I got to back it down, I got to get to that point, got to be a little bit more careful, because the finish will be the championship. Yeah, this this was a brand new car for this race. Jamie, my uh, racing partner, built it um, like three weeks ago, pretty much. We all went up to help and got her done, but uh, the car was flawless. Like like he said, I, I kind of made a little mistake in the beginning of the race. That cost us about three hours, so we can't win them all. Well, I saw a few mistakes that cost guys to put them on the trailer early, so this is an okay mistake. <laughs> yeah, I want to, like, my whole team came together and we busted this out, so thank you to everybody that was there that helped. So, man, these guys were awesome for us. Well, World Desert Championship is a nice thing to have for sure, and I know a lot of sponsors are going to be happy. I think it's time to give them a little love. Yeah, for sure, Polaris Razor, um, Obor Tire, we didn't have a flat all day long, Elka Suspension, Metal FX Wheels, Vision X Lighting, um, oh, there's a long list, uh, Steal It, CBR, um, our friends and family, like we couldn't have done it without our, our pit guys today, they were on it for us, so uh, that was huge, and score for putting on such a great event. Thanks a lot, Mike. Like to say anything else? Yeah, just thanks to everybody that came down to help us and secure this championship. It was a big deal to us. Uh, I definitely want to say this Pro R is an amazing car. This thing, other than what we caused, did not skip a beat all day. So, Polaris built an awesome vehicle. So, we uh, were super jazzed to be racing this thing. I'll tell you what, I'm ready to trade my Turbo S in for one. Yeah, these things are wicked fast. I'm looking forward to it. Well, congratulations, guys, on the SCORE Desert World Championships. We'll see you uh, tomorrow at the, uh, we'll see you actually at the banquet for sure in January. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Right on. Calfro and Kirkpatrick, well, we see one of our good friends right over there, Rod, and I'm sure you want to go talk to Mr. Chambly right there, the defending champion right there. He's got that 700.